Um, but honestly, in terms of writing, I write best cool. and I'm able to consistently come up with ideas when I'm writing every day. Mm, Got to keep it going like the regimen. Yeah. Even if it's just like you don't have to write a whole song a day, just write something like right. even if it sucks, like you wrote something, you know, like and you put a rep in. Exactly. It's all about the reps. It's all about the hours. Yeah, Ten thousand hours. Absolutely. You know, yeah. I, I, I interviewed a guy named Damian Taylor who's, you know, worked on some incredible music and. He's a bit of like a thought leader, I would say. Um, sure. And um, yeah, he was like telling me about this like morning mat practice. Like, you know, you wake up the first, you got, it's like it's, it's something worth trying at some point in your life of like waking up, you get out of bed, you maybe go to the bathroom and then you work for 50 minutes and you bake something and that's it. Yeah. And you've already yeah. won your day now because, you know, you've accomplished something today, even if it's just that one 50 minute thing and you've 100%. scratched that itch and you've put in a rep and you've kind of like, you know, that's it, you know. Um, yeah, that's how it goes. I'm not in a fa- I'm not in a stage where I can do that, but like there was like a stage where like, you know, where I was like trying to get busier and figure things out and I would just make a beat every every time I had time in the studio. Yep. And it's just like, yeah. oh, I learned so much from that, you know. That's all it takes, dude, seriously, just getting something down. Like it's like cuz people come to me like all the time and like they're I'm not trying to put myself on a pedestal, but like some people come to me and they're like, "How do you like like why how are you writing every day?" And like, how do you make like something that is objectively good, like consistently? And I wouldn't consider everything that I make to be good, you know, just because like, that's just how we are, you know? Um, Right. But it's the, the only way to write stuff that you are going to like is by writing shit. Like you got to get the shit out of the way. Like you're not just going to like be able to write stuff after like playing guitar and other people's songs for like years you know like that's great you're like you're a great you're a good guitar player you like you got that down but there's also like the writing portion of it and creating like original stuff but like honestly like anyone's capable of writing like anyone can do it it's just like are you willing to be patient with yourself right and like it's a mental battle you know right am i good enough am i able to do this like for a living, am I able to like write something that I'm going to like and other people are going to like, right. You know, and you just got to like push through that, see past it and write the shit, you know? Right. Yeah. I mean, I, I literally just talked about this last night on the podcast I, I did yesterday. Uh, the, there's a book called start that I read by this guy named John Cuff. And it's just like, you got to start, like, it doesn't matter. Like you, you don't know what's going to hit you once you're on your journey, but like, if yeah. you have to, you have to put that first foot forward and, and start, and then you'll, you know, you'll adapt and, or you'll put in enough reps that things will get good. Or, you know, you, you just, like, I think people overthink everything at the beginning. And it's like, you can't overthink it. You're not going to hit a home run the first time. But well, same thing yeah. with artists, like artists, just, they put all the, all the, all the pressure in the world on that first song that they, you know, they want to release and they haven't released it yet. And they think it's all important, but it's like, no, put out that song. And then maybe right. the, the next one will be good. Or yeah, seven songs later, you'll have something, you know? But yep. like literally like nothing starts from the beginning. You have to just, no, I mean, it starts from the beginning, but it's not going to be great at the beginning. You have to get the shit right. out. Like you said. Yeah, exactly. And like, honestly, I will say when you're like, write something that makes you laugh, you know what I mean? Like sometimes I write like the, like some of my best stuff. I think when I'm like being ironic about it and I'm like, at, I mean, there's two types of laughing for me in music. It's like, that's stupidly heavy. I'm like, that's hilarious because it's just so heavy. Like, I don't know what else to do when I hear that except laugh. <laughs> and there's also like the, that is so ironic and hysterical or bad that like, that's funny to me. Yeah. You so, know what I mean? It's just all about laughing. It's just good. Yeah, I feel you guys, uh, metalheads, know how to take yourselves not too seriously. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. That's that's the vibe. 